Alright, so this just happened, look so. Kanye West has taken Jay-Z's former label Rockefeller Records and EMI Publishing to court because he allegedly is owed some money, TMZ reports. According to court documents filed on Friday, January 25th, West is hitting Rockefeller Records and Island Def Jam over his rights. Though the docs are heavily redacted, one gem found among the legal paperwork obtained by the blast outlines West and Jigga's working relationship. It highlights that Ye produced and wrote on Jay's 2001 classic album The Blueprint and also gives Yeezy credit for helping revitalize Jay-Z's career. West wants to make it clear that this lawsuit has nothing to do with his old friend Sean Carter. Sources tell TMZ, the hip-hop luminary sold his shares back in 2004, so Ye's lawsuit should not be considered a swipe in his direction. The lawsuit filed against EMI Publishing is heavily redacted as well, but it's similar to the one filed against The Rock. EMI has handled Kanye's publishing since 2003, and the documents show that there now exists a dispute between plaintiffs and the defendant, EMI, regarding the party's rights and obligations to one another under the EMI contract and extensions. Between Kanye signing with EMI in 2003 and 2011, the Chicago talent had written and produced over 200 songs under them. Many of those songs included some of his biggest hits. The last solo project West released under Rockefeller was 2010's My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, followed by his collaborative project Watch the Throne with Jay the following year. The label has been defunct since 2013. It's not entirely clear how much money Kanye is seeking, but essentially he's asking a judge to declare his rights so he can begin collecting his coins. So yeah, what do you guys think? Is Kanye really owed this money or is he just trying to get coins wherever he can? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.